Picture a world of ice, massive glaciers carving valleys and polar ice caps stretching as far as the eye can see. These icy giants hold most of the planet's fresh water and play a critical role in keeping Earth's water systems balanced. But they're melting, and not just a little. This isn't just about losing ice. It's about reshaping how water moves and affects life all over the globe. Let's explore what's causing the melt and why it matters. Glaciers and polar ice caps are melting faster than ever, and climate change is a major driver. Rising global temperatures, fueled by human activities like burning fossil fuels, trap heat in the atmosphere. This extra heat doesn't just warm the air, it warms the oceans, which speeds up the melting of ice. Imagine placing an ice cube in a warm drink. It melts faster, right? That's what's happening on a planetary scale. Greenhouse gases, like carbon dioxide and methane, are the main culprits, turning the Earth into a slow cooker for its ice. But it's not just the rising temperatures. Soot and ash from wildfires and industrial pollution settle on ice surfaces, making them darker. Darker ice absorbs more sunlight instead of reflecting it, accelerating the melting process. Think of it like wearing a black t-shirt on a sunny day. It gets hotter faster than a white one. Local activities like deforestation can also play a role by altering wind and weather patterns, which further disrupts the ice. So what happens when glaciers and ice caps melt? Locally, the effects can be devastating. Communities that rely on glaciers for drinking water and irrigation face shortages as the ice disappears. Rivers fed by glaciers, like the Ganges in India or the Yangtze in China, could dry up in the future, threatening millions of lives. In the Arctic, melting sea ice disrupts ecosystems, making life harder for species like polar bears and seals that depend on the ice for survival. Globally, the melting ice is causing sea levels to rise, which is one of the most serious consequences. Coastal cities like Miami and Jakarta are already seeing the effects, with more frequent flooding and erosion. If all the ice in Greenland melted, it could raise global sea levels by over 7 meters, submerging entire regions. Melting glaciers also release trapped freshwater into the oceans, disrupting ocean currents. These currents drive weather patterns, so when they're thrown off balance, we see more extreme storms, droughts, and heat waves. The loss of ice also means less sunlight is reflected back into space, which further warms the planet in a feedback loop. This cycle is like a runaway train, harder to stop the longer it goes on. At the same time, melting permafrost in polar regions releases methane, a powerful greenhouse gas, making climate change even worse. It's easy to feel overwhelmed by all of this, but understanding the problem is the first step toward action. Reducing greenhouse gas emissions, protecting forests, and transitioning to renewable energy can slow the melting. On a local level, restoring wetlands and protecting river systems can help communities adapt to the changes that are already underway. The ice may be far away, but its melting is something that affects us all, whether it's through rising seas, changing weather, or shifts in our water supply.